Hello friends, how are you? Our video today, I'm going to show you how to cut a steel plate using a jigsaw daddy. Music. Well, I have my plate ready. I've already drawn the drawing that I need to cut. It's an 80 centimeter disc that I'm going to cut. And we are also going to need, which is essential, a scraper glove. A shield or safety glasses. This is another point that is essential. I always go with needles on my face. And it's the sparks are hot, so I even prefer I'm even preferring to use a face shield and ear protectors. This is us oh, essential for this type of work. And I'll show you the details later, especially regarding the issue. When it passes by a thinner part like this, I'll later highlight it for you. About this point. Well, I wanted to emphasize two things. Things with you regarding the adjustment of the saw. One is to turn off the ventilation. It stops blowing air onto the blade. This is a recommendation from all manufacturers. I don't know exactly why, but maybe it's because of the suction rather than the blowing. And the other thing is here. Turn off the pendulum action. Of the saw in this case, it has three levels and you have to turn off the pendulum action. This can damage your saw and also affect the safety of the cutting procedure. So this is essential. As for speed, a slower speed makes the blade last longer. Faster speeds generally give you a cleaner cut, but with a higher chance of error. So it's easier to make mistakes. Any little thing can mess up your cut. So it's the question of each person adapting better to a certain speed. I always use a small bottle of oil. This one is a small bottle of UV glue, but it has oil in it. Here inside, it is an engine oil. There are fluids of land. I've cut for sale, but... I always end up not buying it in large containers. I'm going to take a break from my cutting so I can show you a detail. We arrived at a situation like this here, where your risk here is something like 10 millimeters. To get to the edge, we need to pay attention. Why? Because the blade itself can pull. This, this part here that is now light upwards, causing it to bend, and this causes the saw to jolt which could both hurt you and damage the equipment. In this case here, for example, what did I do? I didn't even cut it here. Could have cut it here to remove all of this excess here that is already left over. On the contrary, I chose to leave it so that it would gain weight. And there's no tip that can actually lift up here and make a bend and hurt me. Only after I pass, I arrive more or less here like this. I will already be in a safe condition again, because it will be wide here. I come here and cut this piece and take it away. These are small details, but they make a difference when it comes to safety.
Well, guys, as you can see, look at the cuts. It turned out pretty well despite some flaws like here where I ended up going a little off track. But this is also due to the position of cut. That was not very good, but anyway, the idea was to pass on a little notion. For you, the work as a whole. Highlighting that in sheets. Thin, this is a sheet, 16. If it were 24 plate, for example, the ideal would be to line it. The plate with a 3 millimeter MDF and cut. To be able to prevent the sheet from bending a little. Okay guys, that's well, it. I hope you enjoyed it and it helps you. We'll be back soon with more videos. A hug to everyone and see you next time.